If you want to view the responses of a survey that's come through from Forms Pro, you know that there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. So we can look on the Forms Pro survey itself and I can dig into the question responses, I can look at the overview, I can open up information and see the responses someone's given. Also, if you are using CDS, well, all of the responses are going into CDS, but if you're using a model-driven app, you're either using Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement or you've created a model-driven app and you've just got CDS entities in there. So you've got all of the Forms Pro survey-related entities, the responses, invites, and so on. Then you know that you can have a look at the information from there. So here we've got a model-driven app that I've got open. Uh, the layout might be a, a little bit different from you if you haven't been in for a while, but this is very, very new in terms of how the um, the survey response looks. So we've got a lot more information that's on the screen. We've also got the survey response information that's come through that's embedded um, based on the feedback that they gave to all of those questions. That's great. And we've also got the question responses that link back to those specific question response records as part of that entity. One thing that we don't have is we don't have the ability to go ahead and print this out. Anyone that's used Microsoft Forms will know that you have an option to print the responses from there, but there isn't an option to do that from Forms Pro. Also, you've got users that are in your uh, model-driven Power App, but they're not necessarily set up to be able to log into Forms Pro. So how do we go about resolving that? Okay, so one of the things that in my background I've come from uh, using CRM, Dynamics 365, Customer Engagement, and also writing reports. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've written a report that you can go ahead and you can download if you go to my blog. If you're watching this on, the, on YouTube, you can go to my blog and you can have a look and you can get this report. So run report, at the minute we don't have any options, we don't have any reports in here. Now you can import in a solution that you can download from me and that that will go ahead and add a report that I've created. So if we go to make.powerapps.com, make sure you're in the right environment. So if you're just using CDS, you might want to be in your default. Um, I'm in my sandbox environment for um, customer engagement. I'm going to go over to the solutions area and I'm going to do new solution. I'm not. I'm going to do import. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and import my solution. So I'm going to browse out and I'm going to browse out for my file. So there is my solution file. And I'm going to go ahead and click through and I'm going to go ahead and import that. Now, if you haven't done this before, it's something that you'd have to be an administrator to be able to get in and access to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and I've imported that and we'll see a message that basically shows that the solution has been imported and completed successfully. Awesome. So if we go ahead and let's just refresh and we should see that solution showing up. There we go. We've got our survey response overview report. The solution, all it has in there is basically the report file. That's it. All right. So now if we go back to our uh, model driven app, um, and we click on run report, we can see the survey response overview report is available. So if I go ahead and click on that, it's going to go ahead and run the report. Now the report version that I'm showing you, I have a logo on there. The one that you'd be able to download does not have a logo. If you know somebody on your team that uh, can write reports, SSRS reports, uh, and has the tools to do so, you can obviously go ahead and add your own logo on there. Uh, but the version that I'm providing does not have a logo. All right, so what we've got is we've got the um, the name of the survey that was responded to. We've got the response who responded. Now, if you are not using Microsoft Flow and you basically have responses that are coming in and it shows as anonymous, then obviously that is going to show um, it's not going to be an actual person. So that would just say unknown, so response from unknown. Then we've got the date and the time of which they um, gave the survey response. What we've then got is if there was a net promoter score question, um, there wasn't on this one, so we've got NA, and if there's sentiment, we basically are showing whether it's positive, negative, or neutral. And then what we've got is all of the questions in the correct order so that we can see all of the questions with all of the responses directly underneath. Now, when I say correct order, you might think, oh, we could create a Word document template to do this. One of the challenges that anyone that has used Word document templates will know is that you cannot do a sort 
of the order in which the records show. Now all of these are the survey question responses, the entities. On the question entity, let's go ahead and I'll just open up a quick advanced find. This is the um, a search for the survey question entity. You'll notice that we've got a field called sequence. That sequence numbering is what determines the order in which that those questions will show and are, are displayed on the survey. So because we can't do sort sorting with a Word document template, really SSRS is the way to go for this so that we can have this in the correct order rather than just um, the order in which maybe you created the questions or whatever it is that's, that's coming back through into the database. So then if I want to print it, I've got a couple of options. I can just click print and print it directly or I can go ahead and I can export it and I can export it as a PDF um, as other options. Now this is formatted so that it is going to um, look correct on a PDF. I have not formatted it, formatted it for anything else. I don't. Um, uh, to, to me this would be what I would want to download it as if you wanted to be downloading something and get the responses as uh, an Excel file I would suggest going ahead and just um, running a, creating a view and, and doing it that way all right so there we've got it I can now print it out do whatever I need to with that report so hopefully this helps um, if that's something that you think you might want to use within your organization again remember the version that I'm um, making available for free download it does not include a logo um, and if you wanted to that's something that you'd have to take responsibility for within your own organization so um, that's it if you like this, let me know in the comments below. Thanks guys. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.